Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Clintope versus Infinity 00, and this is going to be a post Cyberstorm access replay, and let's go ahead and hop right in, and we're going to see Infinity win the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot, 40 versus 40, gotta love to see it, opening hands, we have Contain, Gamma, Turbulence, Harpy's Feather Duster, and Durendal, they have Sleepy Memory, Nib, Droll, Ogre, and Stray Purely Street, so, this player is going first, they open Triple Hand Trap, uh, they only have one playable card right now. Uh, and then we have Rescue Ace. So we're going to have to read over these cards because this is the first time we've had them on the channel. And I kind of know these cards. Like, I've read over them. Um, but it's probably good for me to reread over them. So we have Contain, which all the ones with just, like, basic names, uh, they're always treated as Rescue Ace cards. And then it says, if you control a Rescue Ace monster, you can target one effect monster your opponent controls. This turn, that effect monster cannot attack. Also, its effects are negated. Then, if you control Rescue Ace Hydrant at the resolution of this effect, that monster can also not be used as a material for a fusion, synchro, XYZ, or link summon this turn. Hydrant is the level 1 that you'll see in a little bit. Um, and then we have Turbulence. Uh, this one says you can banish two Rescue Ace cards from your graveyard, special summon this card from your hand. During your main phase, this is going to sound broken. You can set up the four Rescue Ace Quick Play spells, normal traps, with different names directly from your deck. So effect, set four. Crazy. Then it says, if another card or cards you control leaves the field by an opponent's card effect, except during the damage step, you can target one card in the field, destroy it, you can only use each effect of this once per turn. Um, okay, so we're going to see purely start off. They could go main phase to put up the street, or they could just go draw phase, sleepy to try to play around draw better, and they are just going to discard street anyways. So bring out Lily, Lily effect, chain gamma, uh, and that's already looking very tough for the purely player. Uh, bring out driver from the deck, bring out gamma, banish those pass, we draw rescue. This is always treated as a rescue ace card. You can target one rescue ace monster in your graveyard. Or if you control a Rescue Ace Hydrant, you can target one monster in your opponent's graveyard instead and special summon it to your field and you can only activate this once per turn. So we're going to go set the trap, pass turn. We don't have anything to equip our Durendal to. We don't have any monsters. Uh, they draw purely. And then they're going to go normal summon purely effect. Okay, that's fine. We choose to not negate it with our contain. All right? Uh, oh, I guess we have, to control, we have to control Rescue Ace monster. Yeah, so we actually just don't have anything. Um, they hit a pretty memory there, so grab back the pretty memory, put back, and yeah, we're just gonna see them scoop, wow, so that game one that was looking very bad for Purely, they ended up winning the game, so we're gonna see Rescue Ace go first this game, hopefully they don't brick, we got Droll, Airlifter, Hydrant, Gamma, and Renaud, they have Sleepy Memory, Purely Lily, Pretty Memory, Happy Memory, and Delicious Memory, so no hand traps this time around. Um, and we can go over these two. So we have Airlifter. Um, this card says, if it is normal summon or special summon, you can add one Rescue Ace spell from the deck to the hand. Then, when your opponent activates a monster effect on the field, quick effect, you can tribute this card from your hand or face up on the field. Special summon one Rescue Ace monster from your hand, except for Rescue Ace, Airlifter. Uh, you can only use each effect of this once per turn. So, this one's like kind of cool. It's kind of like having this, but it summons a different monster from your hand by tributing itself. So you kind of have to have a lot for it to work. Um, but yeah, on to Hydrant now. It says, why you control a Rescue Ace monster other than Rescue Ace Hydrant? Your opponent's monsters cannot target this card for attacks. Also, your opponent cannot target this card with effects. You can only use the following effects of Rescue Ace Hydrant once per turn. Uh, you can activate a quick play spell or trap that was set by the effect of your Rescue Ace card the turn that it was set. And then during your main phase, you can add one Rescue Ace monster from your deck to the hand except for a copy of itself. So we're gonna go main phase, normal summon out airlifter, airlifter effect, grab Rescue, H, uh, Rescue Ace HQ, the field spell. This one says, while your opponent, or yeah, while your opponent controls a monster, all Rescue Ace monsters you control gain 500 attack and defense. During your main phase, you can normal summon one Rescue Ace monster in addition to your normal slash set. Um, and then it says once per turn, you can target four of your uh, Rescue Ace cards that are banished or in your graveyard, shuffle them into your deck, and then draw one. So we're going to search the field spell, activate the field spell, extra normal summon out the Hydrant, Hydrant effect, grab Turbulence, and then we're going to special summon out the Renaud, uh, link off into a Sold, a Sold effect, go search, grab Impulse, 
Uh, this is like, you know, a broken one. This is the one that we saw people try playing in other decks. Uh, where, you know, if a punch monster effect is active, you should be this card from your hand or field, especially when one machine rescue ace monster from your deck. And then this usually brings out the one that will let you uh, draw two, discard one. And then it says during the main phase, you can choose the one effect monster you controls with the highest attack. And now the player can activate that monster's effects on the field this turn. Uh, so we're going to search for that effect. Dump to Rendell, summon out Renaud. Wow, we play multiple Renaud. I was not expecting that. Um, and then effect. Add back Airlifter. Go into an Appalooza. And then pass turn. Really? I guess? It's like at that point, why did we add back Airlifter? Why couldn't we have just added back Durendal for the follow-up instead of Airlifter? Like, Durendal gets to Airlifter. I know this has a hand effect, but then we could banish Airlifter and Hydrant, summon out Turbulence, and then Turbulence effects set four from deck. So then it's like you have four set from deck, Appalooza draw, Impulse. Pass, they draw Gamma. Okay, they're going to activate Sleepy Memory, and then it's going to discard Gamma, bring out Purely, purely effect they're thinking on that they're going to chain impulse to tribute and bring out fire engine fire engine says if a rescue ace monster or monsters is normal summon special to your field except during the damage step you can special summon this card from your hand then if a monster is special to your opponent's field except during the damage step you can special summon one level four or lower rescue ace monster from your hand deck or the graveyard so they're going to use the effect to go to the top three, hits Delicious Memory, and then put back. This is draw phase, so we can't drop draw on Lockbird. Okay. Yep, can't drop draw, it's draw phase. And then they are going to go activate Delicious, protect the Purely, discard the other Delicious, bring out Purely, and then Purely effect. We're going to chain Appalooza to that, send the gate. And then go main phase, activate purely effect to try to rank up Appalooza Negate. Um, yeah, so it's once returned during your main phase, you can reveal one purely quick play spell on your hand, especially when one XYZ monster from your extract that mentions that card by using this as a material and attach it. So neither, like, it's not like a hard one to turn for an entire copy. Um, none of this effect is for purely, for Lily it is, but for this one it's not. So now we're going to have to Appalooza Negate that one also. Then they're going to overlay into an assembled. Now we're going to use fire engine. So fire engine, summon out monitor. Monitor summon, says when it's normal summon, especially when you can add one rescue ace trap from the deck to the hand. Then when your opponent activates a monster effect on the field, quick effect, you can tribute this card from your hand or face upon the field. And then target one rescue ace monster in your graveyard and special summon up. So that's going to grab reinforce. Uh, which is always true to Rescue Ace card. You can target one Rescue Ace monster you control until the end of that turn. That monster you control gains 1,500 attack and defense. It's unaffected by opponent's monster effects. Also, the next time it's destroyed a battle, it's not destroyed. Then you can banish this card from the graveyard. Target one Rescue Ace spell in your graveyard. Set that to your field. You can only use this effect of Reinforce once per turn. So then, then they're going to go battle phase. Attack, attack. And then main phase two. Summon downward. And then summon Zeus, activate Zeus effect to try to wipe. Uh, so that's just all going to go. And then they're gonna go normal summon Lily, effect chain Gamma on that, summon Gamma, summon Driver, Zeus effect to attach. Or maybe they're forgetting or don't want to because Ghost Ogre. Activate Happy Memory. Okay, so they just forgot. Because they could have went ahead and attached something at least. So they're going to activate Happy Memory. Discard Pretty. Bring out Lily. And then Lily's second effect now. So go ahead XYZ. We're going to bring out Plump. Attach Delicious. And then we're going to activate Plump effect to attach. And we say sure. That's fine. That effect sends Zeus to attach the Gamma. So that way they can summon a Nor. Said anything on res question mark? Nope. Go on the Nora. Could have also attached the trap card if it was in their deck. So that way they can put back some purelies. But summon, pass, draw, draw. Just like driver to get it out of deck. And then normal summon airlifter. Airlifter effect. Go search rescue the quick play spell. Activate it. 
try to bring back the impulse from the grave, then ending on res. Nope. And then effect, target, nor. During your main phase, you choose one effect, monster opponent controls the highest attack, and another player can activate the monster's effects while it's on the field this turn. Okay, uh, that'll be unaffected, so. Activate turbulence. Well, okay, yeah, it activates, banish, summon, effect to go set from the deck. So we're gonna set contain, extinguish, rescue, and alert. So alert is the, uh, oh, we haven't gone over this one yet. This one, this one says add one rescue ace monster from your graveyard to hand, or if you control a rescue ace hydrant, you can add one rescue ace monster from your deck to the hand instead. Uh, rescue is the one that lets you reborn from your graveyard or their graveyard. Uh, extinguish is the one that says target one effect monster your opponent controls, destroy it. Then if you control rescue ace hydrant, your opponent cannot activate the effects of that destroyed monster or of monsters with the original name this turn. And then contain is the negate. And then if you control hydrant, make it to where it can't be used, um, for like links or anything that turn. So question, it's unaffected by monster effects, but can I use the link goddess with mask effect? Yep. Go into IP. So reinforce. Yeah, so they're gonna let them read. I mean, they do need to be set randomly, like multi roll. Pass, draw my friend purely. And then they're gonna activate rescue and draw phase. Chain Nor to go ahead and try to put back turbulence now. What was their target with that again? Um, they went target monitor. Okay, and monitors are the ones gonna let them add a trap and attribute the special back from the graveyard. So they decide to chain the target turbulence. Then they're gonna chain alert, and then they're gonna chain reinforce, and then they're gonna chain nor, and then nor is gonna target turbulence, and they're gonna chain extinguish to try to pop, chain nor, chain contain. So it's going to negate Nor. We're going to summon back from the graveyard. We add back Fire Engine. This should be Pop. New Chain Link. Ace Monitor to go search. And Fire Engine to special summon out. Grab Extinguish. And then they're going to go My Friend Purely. And then Effect. Pay 500, they said sure, even though if we have Unicorn in our extra deck, 100% you just like spin that, get rid of it. Uh, you need to actually choose three, you can't just add a purely. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, we also drop Droll when it's added to your hand. We're going to monitor, bring out Airlifter. We're just playing this game for no reason, like why? Yeah, they scoop, so on to the next game. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to see Infinity 0, zero go first. We got... Uh, rescue Ace, Hydrant, Gamma, Impulse, Rescue, and Extinguish. They have Yeep, a Pointer, Lily, Ogre, and Pretty Memory. So they're going to go Main Phase, Normal Summon, Lily, Lily Effect, Chain Gamma on that. So Gamma, Summon itself, Summon Driver, Negate and Destroy the Opponent's Monster. Afterwards, Activate Pretty Memory, Gang a Thousand, Discard the Yeep, Bring out Lily. So I wonder what our plan exactly is here. Um, we're going to go Lily effect to try to turn itself into a negate. So we're just agreeing that we won't have any follow up at that point. Don't you just like get rid of a pointer. Um, and you keep yeep. Honestly, you probably just go for purely there and not Lily and you go purely gamble hit something, activate, discard Ogre, and you're supposed to discard a pointer the first time, and then you get to bring out Lily if you want to. You can go Lily effect to upgrade. I guess it doesn't get you in a better spot where you are now. I guess you could just go Lily upgrade, set Yeep, keep Ogre in hand pass, but they're gonna bring out Fire Engine, and then uh, they're gonna go Fire Engine effect, Beauty to Negate, Set a pointer, pass, draw impulse, and then activate a pointer, reveal the ghost ogre in their hand to try to look at their hand. Uh, they're going to hit the trap card out of it. And then normal summon hydrant effect, try to chain, but they can't target this. Yeah. So that's going to resolve, search out turbulence, switch to attack, and then battle phase, 
fire engine attack over and that's pretty much just game right there because we're putting our opponent on nothing and then activate the rescue summon out the impulse from the graver does this have to summon in defense no we don't so we could have used this during battle phase and just activate it summon poke for 15. now we're going to go into an ip activate turbulence banish two from the graveyard special summon effect go set so we're going to set alert contain reforce and rescue and then pass turn they draw ash blossom so they have nothing ggs ggs see warlords in their hand too uh, that can help purely play around like kaijus or santa claus uh, just because you flip this during standby phase and then you know it's just fairies that's all the purely's are but we're going to see Rescue Ace end up winning there over the Purely player. I do think the Purely player made some very questionable choices on their turn. Um, but maybe they just don't know what Rescue Ace cards do. Actually, we know they don't. Oh, they should have also got their trap back from a pointer. It doesn't matter. But uh, yeah, they obviously didn't know what they, the cards do. Because they didn't even stop Hydrant. They tried to stop it. Realized they couldn't. Um, maybe with the Fire Engine on field the best play that you could do was discard ogre as your first discard summon lily lily upgrade in the beauty set a pointer beauty effect because of pretty get rid of a pointer take the fire engine and then you set yeep and you pass and then that gives you a negate and a bounce to the bottom of the deck and then you still have Zeus set up, and you'll have Pretty Memory. Or you could have Pretty Memory underneath your Nor if you want to. So I mean, no matter what you top deck, you can just try to go Pretty Memory effect to attach. Set up a decent sized Zeus with three materials under it. Next turn, you know, your next top deck doesn't matter what it is. You can summon a Zeus over Zeus, get another interruption. Um, I think they could have played it a lot better. The Rescue Ace player uh, probably could have also played it a little bit better. But I don't know how to play their deck, so I don't I don't really know what to say about it. And yeah, I mean, we saw t the power of Turbulence set 4 from deck. It's kind of broken. And with all that being said, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe. Um, actually, I guess, yeah, I guess that's it. Uh, we'll go over Rescue Ace again in the future. Hopefully the, the players know how to play it and play against it. Peace.